Well, today's guest is a quiet one and a very small one, actually. A unique character, to say the least. We'll get to know this snake in today's Critters Uncaged. We've got Miller Park Zoo here and Shannon Reedy with... Who is this? This is Safi. And he is a, or he, she is? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, technically it's an it. It, uh, fair enough. <laughs> although we do suspect it's a male based on size. Okay. Um, because the, the males of this species of snake tend to be a little bit smaller than the females. So this is a Kenyan sand boa. They're found in the desert, Sahara Desert okay. in Africa. So the, this is a little bit, you know, the cool, shocking, not so good, not so much for them. He likes sure. his nice, hot, sandy box that Being he has from at, at, Kenya, at the zoo. I would assume that's true. Exactly. Uh, is he relatively new to you guys? He is, yeah. He just came in, uh, to, came to, to us just a couple of months ago, and he hasn't even done an education program yet. So he's, this is his very first time out, time out in his, in his cooler car seat so it's very exciting he's this, kind of like a christmas present this is a little uh, off topic i suppose but but how does a zoo come upon new animals like this is there a catalog that you're like you know what we need is this or how does that work <laughs> that's a great question <laughs> uh we get that a lot um honestly they're a catalog of sorts i guess um aza zoos association of zoos and aquarium um uh, accredited zoos, we do have a, a surplus list or a list hmm. of animals that we maybe are looking to place if we have extras or births, things like that. Um, an animal that maybe isn't, isn't a good fit for our facility, but we know would be a good fit somewhere else. So we can check that list and, and see if there are animals that might fit the bill for us as well. And so he came to us from the Miami Metro Zoo, um, where he had been a program animal, but he was a not needed in their collection any longer, sure. but they wanted a good home for him, and so um, he came to us from there. Now, that's a rough time of year to move from Miami to central <laughs> Illinois, especially for a snake. You made it before the Kenya. cold snap, oh, okay. thank goodness, yes. So, well, speaking of which, let's talk about how weather impacts the Miller Park Zoo. I mean, mm -hmm. some zoos just close down altogether. Right. Uh, you guys do not. We do not. We close on Christmas Day, so don't come that day, but any other day, it is fabulous. And, and some people just don't believe me when I say it, but winter is the best time to come, especially if it's snowing, a little bit brisk. The animals love it. We have a lot of animals who are native to colder climates. Snow leopards, red panda, palace cats, the red wolves. They get so excited mm. when it's cool out and we see them being very, very active. I think what most people are probably scared of is they pay to get into a zoo and then they mm -hmm. go and watch a bunch of em empty cages exactly. because all the animals are hiding, but that's not the case. That's the summertime. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And there's yeah. a lot more people to fight. Exactly. <laughs> so the winter is perfect. Plus we have a rainforest. So so if you want a, a way to just relax and mm -hmm. and you know he, he, heat up a little bit, ditch the coats and and enjoy the rainforest for a while. Talk about some of the programs you have uh, going on throughout the winter months and what people can enjoy in terms of uh, those things you offer. Well, it's fabulous. We always have education programs going on. Um, starting in, well, in January, we have a new crop of, of classes, um, Zoo Explorers for those elementary-aged kids. Uh, we've got our um, animal crackers for the three- to five-year-olds, and we have a special package we're starting this year. We have seven classes through the year, um, two in the winter months, three in the summer, and two more in the fall, and we're doing a package if you buy six you get one free wow we very just want to nice. see a lot more folks enjoying that class and that it's could great. be a good christmas gift Absolutely. but i would assume you have a gift shop that uh, for last we minute christmas do gifts. and thank you for bringing that up sure. oh my goodness we have the best shop there's so many great toys and gifts of all all price ranges um lots of educational toys or just fun fluffy stuff and you can fit stuff Love in it. stockings i would oh, imagine too a lot of, of good stuff. stocking stuff lots of stuff great well thank you for being here and thank of you course. for bringing your uh, sand boa with yes. you thanks for having us hope to see uh, both of you again sometime soon we will connect you with everything Miller Park Zoo on the CI Living Facebook page.